Hey guys, welcome back to Dutify. So I know the last video I ended up doing and talking about that I was going to get a job at a Fortune 500 company and that was my next journey. But after a lot of consideration, I ended up deciding something else. So I'll talk about it and my experience after Springboard. So I ended up after Springboard taking a month off. So I ended up graduating in July. I took around August off and then I ended up applying around September and October. So I took those two months just focused on applying and getting a position. So I ended up doing a lot of experimentation and trying to see what works and what doesn't work. And I ended up applying and indeed ZipRecruiter and other companies that had a job postings on their website. So I ended up doing that and I ended up applying overall around 100 to 200 positions in total, I believe. So I was around more than the 100 like position. So I ended up applying for a lot. So I ended up having interviews around seven to 10 a week. So it was pretty intense and very, very time consuming. And I had to prepare a lot to focus on the interview, trying to prepare mentally, trying to research the company and see what they're doing and how you could improve that company and ways to talk to the, the person interviewing you. So it was a lot of work. It's not just um, a little talk. It's more like having to prepare yourself mentally and also doing research on the company itself. So that was a lot of work. I ended up doing that. So I ended up um, also another thing that I forgot to mention is that on LinkedIn, you could put that you're open to work. And that's another way that recruiters reach out to you. That way you can get more possibilities of getting hired. So I ended up doing all that. I ended up doing that for two months straight. So Springboard, what they have you do is that they have you do uh, four job applications a week, seven connections or seven interviews or seven um, talking with recruiters and two informative interviews per month. So that's what they have to do. So I ended up doing a little bit more and trying to focus on getting a job immediately. So what I realized is through trial and error, I ended up seeing what was working and what was not working. So what you want to do is that you want to experiment, trying to see what works and what doesn't work. So try to see um, perhaps doing something else later on. And as opposed to what you did, trying to change it up, trying to see if it's working or not working. So me, I was doing that a lot of experimentation. I was seeing what wasn't working, what was working, trying to get what wasn't working out and trying to uh, change it up. So I could talk a little bit more about that later in more of my videos, which I will be posting in the future. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you, so you won't miss out. So in the end, I ended up saying that I wanted to work for a Fortune 500 company like Google, Amazon, IBM, Intel. So I ended up considering that a lot and I ended up knowing that I want to work for startups instead, mainly because startups, you get more of a art direction that you could make more of an impact in the company towards design, towards everything. So they really need that designer to focus on the product, trying to improve it, trying to make it better, trying to start basically from scratch. So as opposed to a larger company, they have more of like already the art set, they have a design system, they already have that style guide, everything's already set. So mainly they focus on a lot of user research and a lot more of what's working and what's not working. So that's the, the differences. And I ended up focusing on trying to get a position as at a startup and also a large company. I wanted to experiment to see if I could get a job at a large company. So what I ended up doing is that I did end up applying for large companies like Google, Amazon, no, Amazon, no, Google, IBM, and Tesla, and other large companies that I really am passionate about. So I ended up applying towards those companies. So it, I did not get a response back, unfortunately, but I did get the possibility of working at Microsoft and Walmart as a UX and UI designer. So also I'll talk about that in later in my videos more in depth about it. But that's my experience overall with seeking a job as a UX and UI designer 
I did successfully land one recently and I am starting this Monday. So I'm pretty excited about it. I really, really like the company. I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to make an impact on the company as a UX and UI designer. So I'm pretty happy. Hopefully you find this information valuable and my content valuable. That way you could find a job easy when you're applying. So again, I'm going to upload more videos and going to talk about more details of my experience trying to get a job after Springboard as a UX and UI designer. So make sure to subscribe, leave a like for the next one.